this week. Kirk, anything surprise you in what you saw? At this stage of the game, guys, are, are we are we looking at these teams and saying who is the better team, or are we still looking at resume? Are we still looking at you know the, the different metrics? I guess it's all subjective, depending on all four of you guys and 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 for me and for everybody out there. If you, if you're looking at who's the best team right now, if you're looking at who would you not want to play right now. I would move USC up into the top seven. I know they lost three games, uh, but if you look at the, the circumstances uh, with Max Brown, uh, they played all those games away from the L.A. Coliseum. They've been a very, very different team. So, But, I, but again, I'm not going to jump up and down and say USC has to be there because, again, I, if the committee's going to weigh them down because of three losses, it, that's understandable. But I'm just saying if you're looking for a team trending in the right direction – uh, you wonder how much that comes into play. But right now, that ranking is very, very low, in my opinion. Well, how, how much should trending in the right direction matter as opposed to, you know, getting clobbered in your opening game and losing two more games? How much should it matter? Uh, well, I, I think it should matter uh, for me. I think uh, we always talk about November being such an important month. Uh, you get into December. Uh, where are you heading and, and what kind of team are you? Are you, are you improving every week or are you kind of just kind of holding uh, status quo each week? Uh, SC, uh, think about what they've done. Th those current rankings, they've beaten two teams in the top nine. I mean, they knocked off Washington. They knocked off Colorado. Look at those other teams that are 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, what have they done? Uh, so you can look at the three losses with SC, and if you're going to get caught up in three losses, I get it. And I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying, based on how they're playing right now, if we threw everybody's record out, and we threw every conference affiliation out, and you just looked at who you would not want to play right now, the first two teams that jump out to me are Alabama and USC. I wouldn't want anything to do with those two teams. Those are the two teams for me. Um, but, you know, again, those three losses, maybe that, that's anchoring and it's going to hold them down and prevent them from climbing up. I couldn't agree.